everyone. Welcome to the River Dart. Um, thanks for joining me again. So this is uh, something a little bit different this evening. As you can see, we're out on the kayak. And um, what an absolutely stunning evening for it. So I've just come up to uh, one of these little creeks up here just to have a little um, look around. Um, I'm the only one in this uh, little part of the river and it's bliss. And this is just one of the joys of having a kayak, being able to get into some of these little tributaries and some of these areas where the boats just simply can't get. So this evening, um, hopefully we're going to be able to uh, photograph and film a variety of things really, but mainly aiming for um, seals. We do get them in the river up here. Um, hopefully going to see some heron. Uh, we've already seen plenty of, uh, of egrets, haven't actually taken any shots yet, but um, we'll see some cormorant as well. So we've, um, I've, I've launched the kayak at, uh, at Totnes and I'm paddling up towards um, Dartmouth in that direction for those of you that know this. We're not going to get anywhere near um, the mouth of, uh, of the Dart, um, that's not the plan for this evening. But we're going to sort of hang out probably around um, Sharpham Vineyard area, if anyone knows that. Um, and just see what we can find really. But yeah, main, main objective being, I think, seals and heron um, this evening. Yeah, this is, you know, pretty, pretty awesome to be out here. We've got the, um, uh, the Z6 um, and I've got my uh, D500 with my um, Sigma 150-600 to lens. Got them in a, um, uh, a deck bag I have on here, um, and I've got a couple of GoPros as well. So um, fingers crossed, we won't have any mishaps and everything will stay dry. So we're just going to le leave this little area here, paddle um, further upstream or up river um, to an area where I think we're more likely to see what we're after. So um, yeah, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to give me a like and if you haven't already subscribed, I really appreciate you doing so. Nearly at the 500 subscriber mark. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking. Okay, so we've paddled about a mile or so up river, I'd say, maybe a mile and a half. And we're in the area of uh, Sharpham Vineyard, um, which is uh, directly behind me. And I'm the only one here on this entire stretch of river. It's, um, it's just completely tranquil. The only sound is the sound birds and uh, it's really really incredible absolutely love it here so one of the reasons why um, I've decided to stop in this area is because um, I was here previously and um, just had the most incredible encounter with a seal right in the middle of the channel here just came across it and it was just it was asleep it was ha having a snooze um, in the middle of the river, just bobbing up and down with its uh, with its snout out of the water. I'd never seen anything like it. I mean, that's one of the things I love about the kayak is I was just able to do what I'm doing now, just stop paddling and just float. Um, you know, got within about ten feet of the seal, which you know is close enough. You don't really want to get any closer than that, um, and managed to take these really beautiful shots and it was just a, a really amazing experience um, so I'm gonna probably just paddle maybe up to that next red uh, buoy up there and then just allow the tide just to take me back for a little while there's a good hour or so I would say until high tide so the tide is going to be moving in uh, inland 
you never know, the seal might be having another sneeze somewhere. I don't know where he's gone. Didn't manage to get any stills of that one. But at least got some uh, some video. There's a couple of boats on the river at the moment, and um, they don't seem to phase the seals in any way. But that's it. He's just gone under, and I've got no idea where he's gone. I just love the sound of their breathing. It's like when I've been on the kayak and porpoise or dolphin come up, and you just hear that exhalation there. It's a wonderful sound. I think I'm just going to uh, float about here. Oh, there he is. There he is. Right in the shallows. Can I see if I can get some shots? Well, there we go. That was pretty. Uh, that was pretty cool. I think I've got some uh, got some good shots there. So one thing I want to stress, guys, it is really, really important. If you ever see a seal in the wild, that you don't chase after it. Um, you know, this is their their habitat, their home, and we're just on here, sort of enjoying it. But um, it's actually. Uh, illegal to um, chase after and uh, hassle seals and dolphins and porpoise so um, it's a big uh, big no-no but again I mean that's one of the reasons why I love being on the uh, on the water in the kayak because I can just float um, and doesn't really uh, sort of disturb them in any way he was quite happy to um, sort of sit there whilst I took some shots and then just swam away mainly because there was a, a small rib coming up the river um, but yeah just what fantastic beautiful creatures they are we're just going to paddle back down towards uh, Totnes now probably got a mile or so and um, just see if we can see something else as the uh, as the sun disappears behind the hill in front of me Beautiful. All right, guys, there we go. We're getting pretty close to uh, getting back to Top Nest now, so um, probably no more opportunities to uh, photograph anything, and the lights fading pretty fast. So there, there we go. Um, a pretty successful trip to find uh, find seals um, no heron unfortunately but um, you can't have everything right so uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed that I'm going to be doing a lot more um, filming from the kayak um, throughout the year actually I can see myself spending a lot of time on this river over winter um, it's just such an incredible spot um, you know we're really close to uh, to the coast so you know, this is a tidal river high tide now so um, you know we're effectively paddling on the sea um, comes in from the mouth of the river Dart which is that way a bit further down from where we um, the furthest point we got to this evening but I just absolutely love being on here 
and um yeah i hope you've enjoyed that too so if you have um as i said earlier please give me a like um give me a subscribe um it'd be great to get to that 500 number um for no other reason than uh, it's a nice round number um so yeah really appreciate it thank you very much indeed and i'll see you next time